There we go. We do a road trip every spring from Michigan to uh, Mount Rushmore, to Seattle, to LA, to Tucson, to Las Vegas, to Denver, then back home. We did uh, 7,000 miles in 10 days. <laughs> we had a great time. And when the boys heard we're going to put a bathroom in instead of a spring trip this year, they weren't impressed. I was on my way to work and I heard a commercial for Bethany Christian Services Refugee Program, foster care. And uh, I thought, you know, I could feel bad about that and let that be good enough where I could do something. That's good. And how many all together? There's gonna be four of those. Okay. I'm one of those people that um, no matter how difficult the right thing may be to do, you just do the right thing. So my decision to do foster care was I'm going to head that direction. Maybe I don't qualify. Maybe I'm not the right person, and that's what I may hear, but I'm not going to not do it because of that. I've uh, been home for nine refugee kiddos, uh, three from Africa and six from uh, Central America. And, uh, and that was three years ago that I started that venture. What book are you reading? You watch the movie. Yeah. Our youth come from um, places and situations where they have never been in a family setting, in a family situation. And you could just imagine what that will do for one of our youth to be um, in a home that he knows that he's being loved and cared for. So I reiterate to our families that, you know, it means the world to our youth to be able to be a part of a family setting, and that's really what we're looking for. You've got to hang on to your hat that you put on when you've accepted this role and understand that it's bigger than you. So when you have those difficult days, you, you remember that. You remember why you do this and, uh, and make it past that momentary struggle. It is so important for me to be who they need me to be and to have make a difference and to have an impact. You gotta pick, oh. like you gotta hide your pick until everybody like goes this. down. Okay. I think he's gonna yeah. pick okay. that one. Fostering refugee kids has been the most rewardingly stretching thing that we have ever done. We chose refugee foster care because we had spent so many years in a different culture and learning a new language and understood what it felt like to be dropped um, on this planet where you feel completely lost. Here's the thing that I didn't know about refugee foster care is we are it for them. We are their family. I think the most challenging thing at first is getting over the fear and what is this going to look like and what is this going to be and I think that you just have to kind of step in and trust that God's got it. You just have to dig down deep and see things from a perspective that you haven't had before. I think that uh, the training is pretty extensive. So when things come to light, when you experience some things with your, um, with your children, um, having that knowledge is really, really important. Bethany, from the start and all the way through, supported us completely with the training to start with 24 hours a day. If we have a question, we can call. I don't think there was ever a time where we felt like we were on our own. No. Mm -mm. We take a lot of pride in making sure that our family understand uh, where our kiddos are coming from and their journey. Um, and we want to make sure that they are successful in placing a kid in their home. There are a lot of justified fears. These kids that we're taking in are most likely traumatized in some way or another that I'm bringing into my own safe, comfortable house with my healthy kids. My fear alone would have sentenced these girls to a life on a refugee camp. Overcoming that 
allows them, we, who knows, man, this is, I can't wait to see what they turn mm -hmm. into, what happens with it. There's no way we could change their past, but we could definitely put a stamp in their future and ensure that they become who they were born to become. The most rewarding part is being part of the girl's story. Yes, yeah, for, for sure. sure. And that God let us do that. I, I can't imagine life without, without them. The question is, would I do it again? Every time there's an open bed, the answer is yes. We're looking for people that want to leave a, a legacy of love, encouragement, family that is willing to do what it takes to change a kid's life.